So this is my 1993 Chevy Corsica. Um, it's in great mechanical condition. It is, however, needs cosmetic help and stuff, but other than that, it runs fine. I mean, it's the only good thing about this car. But, yeah. I'm selling it because, um, I already have a car, and I honestly don't need this one. It's a nice car, though. It shifts really smoothly. And overall, it's, it runs good. I mean, I have a friend with the same car. Well, not same car, but it's a Chevy Cavalier. Same engine, transmission. Has like 186,000 miles on it. And it's been running fine still. I mean, the computer went out just barely on it, but this car's still running good. This car probably still has another 100,000 miles plus left to go. Only has 93,000 miles on it. Uh, 92,000 something. Better. I mean, everything's good on it. No check engine light, nothing. Runs normal. So this is my auto shop, my school's auto shop battery. So it's gonna need a new battery. I do have one in the back of the car, but it won't hold a charge for more than a day. Probably just be enough to get you back home or you could stop by like Walmart or something on the way to wherever you're going but they're like 50 bucks. Sweet. Also, have this in here, it's for playing iPods, the radio and stuff. I'll leave it in the car if you want to keep it, but it won't charge your iPod. It'll play it though. car shifts smoothly, I mean, probably compare it to my mom's 06 Honda Pilot, I mean, it shifts really smoothly, and it's a nice car to drive, I mean, too bad I don't have it registered, but that's why I'm making the video. 
just so you guys know it runs. I mean, it's not a, it's not like anything mechanically wrong with the car. It'll pass safety inspections down here. Of course, I haven't tried anything with emissions yet, but no check engine light. Should probably pass emissions too. Can't imagine why it wouldn't. Probably, I got a four day registration thing, like just to move the car around. So it's not registered right now, but I was able to drive it around for those four days. I took it like all over the place. Nothing wrong with the car, but I forgot how to drive manual when I got back into my Jetta. Stereo works, has four different speakers. The back ones actually have some really nice bass, which is, I don't know, nice if you plan on using it, but a lot of people don't really care. Also, the dashboard's all cracked, sun rotted. Um, Two front seats could probably use seat covers. I'll show you that after I get out of the car though. And I'm not sure what kind of gas mileage it gets because I did, I, I haven't had this car very long and haven't really driven it at all. Well, I haven't driven it enough to see what kind of gas mileage it gets, but it's a little four cylinder. My Jetta gets like 25, I think, around town. Of course, I fixed a few things on it, so it might actually, oops, that's park. Um, might actually affected my gas mileage, I hope, but I haven't really been able to test this car out. It also has ABS, which is really good for snowy areas or just any time you have to slam on your brakes. Which would have came in use when I first started driving, but oh well, I don't, it's not something I've ever been too worried about having. I've never really driven with it. So I did buy this car as a fixer-upper. Um, when I got it, the head gasket blown. It cracked the head. So when I first got it, I've got a new head. There's a head get new head gasket in there. Um, new thermostat. I had to change all the fluids because there's there's crap all inside the antifreeze, which is probably why the head gasket blew out the first time. And yeah, um, new gas because it's in there. Um, got new vacuum lines because the person before me busted them all up while taking the thing apart. Has new oil. And then 
also has a new fuel injector because this one was leaking, so I replaced it, which I've actually I've known a few people that have had these cars and it always seems to be that injector that goes out, but it doesn't usually happen for like 100,000 miles or so. so yeah, this injector, oops. I'm, oh, I'm tired. Okay. But yeah, that's usually the only injector that ever goes out, but it takes about 100,000 miles to do so. And that's brand new, so we don't worry about it too long. Um, it does have a block heater. So if you live like, plan on living anywhere snowy, you've got that. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like this has a new alternator. Or people just cleaned it really well, but I don't think they would have done that. Let's see. I flushed the automatic transmission. AC works great in here. And brakes work really well too. But yeah. Overall, it's a pretty good car for anybody uh, that wants to take oops, look up the van or something that's its VIN number and I'll take it to Carfax I haven't done that yet but I haven't been too worried about it just because I just a second car yeah also that is what the seats look like um, you may want seat covers back seats Yeah. This is the 93 Chevy Corsica.